Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on the iConsulting Data Management Suite and Tool. In this webinar we want to show you how with this tool we can solve all issues related to the managing of data warehouse table using Excel. First of all, let's start with the sample situation in which uh, a table is normalized and managed via Excel. In this way, we want to uh, model the geography hierarchy and we, have, we typically have this table in which all data are written manually in Excel. So this can generate a lot of errors. I can be uh, writing uh, wrong data, uh, wrong description and so on. A more elaborated way to manage in table in Excel is the one that uses normalized table in which the geography hierarchy is divided into three tables and I manage it using uh, foreign and primary keys. Uh, another detail I can add uh, to improve this process is using the combo boxes uh, to manage in the keys. Excel issues remains. I cannot uh, uh, avoid errors, distribute in easy way the file, or implementing the security, among other problems. So instead of using a lot of VBA script and code, we developed the uh, iConsulting data management suite. First of all, let's start from the portal, and we have moved the data from Excel to a database. We then uh, choose the table that we want to manage via the iConsulting MDM through the uh, tool called Spider. So we select the first table that is continent. And here is the table continent. And we then select another table that is country. We can see that uh, in this uh, tool we maintain the relationship that are uh, automatically uh, generated by using the column naming uh, convention. So same column are connected through a, a, a join. So we want, now want to generate the first form based on the continent table. Let's start. Right click on the table and generate the content form. We select the destination in which we want to store on the portal this, uh, this form. We pick up the name, first continent. And click OK. So the first form is already generated, as we see here. Let's generate another form for the country. Right click, generate form, select the target and name the form. This time is country. Click the OK button and the second form should be at this point on our uh, portal. So let's try to access the form via uh, our iConsulting MDM uh, portal. Let's just refresh the data <clears throat> and we have the last table we uh, created, country. And below this one, we also have the continent table. So all our data are safely uh, stored and accessible via uh, portal. As we store the relationship, we avoid error by choosing the foreign key through the alias and description from the parent table. So we fix the first main problem that we have with, typically have with Excel. That's not it. We can also have the same uh, way of interacting with this data, not just through the portal, but also with Excel. So we go back to the first Excel, we access the uh, eco add-in and connect to the uh, MDM username, password, and uh, the protocol is HTTP or HTTPS. And here there are the two forms that we have created. The first one is continent and the other one is country. We can read or write this table and access the table directly in Excel. The table is synchronized with the portal. The table is here for uh, country demo. So again, eco add in, read, and voila, the second table is here. We still have in Excel our two tables and the, the relationship between them. So we can choose uh, the uh, foreign key again through alias from the data available to the, uh, in the parent uh, table. We can also manipulate and change data, change the format, change the values, uh, make uh, calculation on that. 
without uh, worrying about uh, corrupting the data because the data are stored on the database. So just refresh, read and back to the original data. Not only that, we can also sync. So as the data are synchronized with the portal, we can change the data on the portal. Let's correct the word France and refresh again our data. And all the table are synchronized. France is correct. <clears throat> Beside the fact that we can uh, operate on the table, we can also uh, run jobs, store procedure, and many other things through the um, through the Eco MDM, either the Excel uh, version or the portal option. So we can execute, uh, for example, an allocation. We can run uh, an uh, ETL process. A third thing I would like to show you is the fact that we can monitor the uh, MDM through the log option. So we are in control of what happened uh, step by step in our tool. And here is the log. Going back to the country table, here we can see for the last time how data are synchronized and I can use either the Excel tool or the portal tool. So let's try to summarize what we just, we just seen while using the consulting data management suite. Well, first of all, there are three Excel issues among the others. First, it's impossible to keep tracks of all the Excel files that I generate. The Excel file that I generate usually doesn't speak the same language that the, the one that the, someone else uh, generate. And adding VBA script makes things even worse. So the eConsult MDM lets you keep Excel while avoiding these issues. How? It centralizes the business intelligence while distributing the analytical intelligence. It keeps one version of truth stored in a single database. Portal and Excel can be used to, uh, to access data that are synchronized. And it's easy to maintain and deploy to the business community. Thank you very much for listening to this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it.